it's not a matter of size, it's not a matter of speed, it's a matter of try to use the best of a machine, of a crew, and to respect the opponents, respect your, yourself, which is a good start. That's the beauty of sailing. That's the only thing we are looking for, you know, by the time you are racing. The multi hull Cup is a chance for the multi hulls to have a friendly competition because it's still a class that's developing. This cup is the second time we're doing it and it comes back here really because Port Adriano fully puts their effort behind this event. That's, that's one of the perfect places in Mediterranean for any kind of race, but especially multi hull ones. Yeah. The album is quite perfect for that. The area is good. Of course, atmosphere is very nice. We love to compete in this area. And, and of course, we are trying to fight. We are trying to win. This time was very difficult. developing a very sophisticated handicapping system which not only handicaps the boat uh, by size and by, but it handicaps by polos that's how the boat performs and it goes to the point that it how it performs on different segments I mean for example some boats are better in upwind and some boats are better in downwind and the problem is always to try to compare apples with the uh, orange you know and then you need a rule which is which which have the beauty of a rule uh, to try to compare boats which are absolutely not the same. They are answering to the same spirit, yes, of fast cruising, but they are, they are not the same. I think we all, and you saw that in the Volvo Ocean Race, uh, have really uh, an obligation that if we are on these waters, and these waters are dear to us to do our part to it, people become much more aware of uh, how polluted the oceans are and through rigging we got in touch with the uh, Clean Wave that organization. They are involved in avoiding adding more pollution to the oceans and we are very happy that they join us in this effort. I love uh, racing in open water but still in the proximity of the land. For example, today's race, which is a distance race, takes us up to Dragonera and round it. It's absolutely spectacular sight. And yes, you are very busy when you're racing with sailing, but it is still, you take in this fantastic uh, setting and, and that's, part of the, that's part of the whole experience. It was very interesting because uh, the first leg was downwind and to the Dragonera, and there, there was no wind at the Dragonera. There was a very fun fight with uh, R6 and finally we, we get out from the Dragonera first and uh, it was easier afterward because we were faster when beaten. Definitely, I, I've enjoyed again uh, this event. We, the first time was uh, already a pleasure to sail here. Uh, we are very welcome here in Port Ariano, and I'm pretty sure that uh, we will be there next year. The winner is with five points, Allegra. Thank you very much. We're obviously very happy about it. And uh, if you look at the results, it was fantastically handicapped. 33 seconds or 38 seconds and between the first and last, there are not even four minutes. That 38 seconds made the difference between first and second place overall. If that 38 seconds had been the other way, R6 would have been holding the trophy and, uh, and Allegra would have, would have been second. And it shows you that no matter where you are on the water, you are fighting for seconds and the handicap system seems to take that into account. <laughs>